what's good y'all welcome back to another video all right okay okay all right all right okay so i've been thinking about this a lot and i think i'm done writing wide ass boards i want to go back writing to a smaller deck hey by the way check out my fucking helmet collection fool look at this i love star wars bro this is my helmet collection so far i got this one this is probably my favorite one right now uh i actually cosplay as boba fett I got Han's fucking gun right there. A little blueprint for the Millennium Falcon. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I think I'm done with Y decks. But let me tell you why. And I'm honestly just telling you guys my opinion. This is my personal preference why I don't want to deal with wide boards anymore. And I'll get to that. But I think I'm just done with it. And I'll tell you why in just in a minute. But I'm, I was going to make a video explaining this setup. And I'm just... I'm gonna do that right now before I tell you why I'm done with this fucking wide decks. So anyways, this is a Baker board. It's Theodis Beasley's, the, I didn't even say that right. Theodis Beasley's Pro Model. It's a 8.475. It's got my 56 millimeter OJ wheels, my titanium independent trucks. I have uh, the uh, OJ risers. And my favorite part of this deck is Stranger Things mob group tape. Look at this shit. There was another one that had like a huge waffle on it and other stuff. But I like this one mostly because of the pumpkin. It's orange. Uh, well, the pumpkins are orange. But orange is my favorite color. But I like this. There's a little figure. Uh, fucking Hopper's badge. Billy's ID from California. The fucking lab. Uh, Jonathan's camera. Uh, what's the fool? Square ass head, Steve. Uh, fucking uh, Santa Cruz. Skate wheel, stranger thing, the matches, the arcade. Uh, yada yada, a little picture of all four of the dudes. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, wait, where is it at? Oh, I missed it. There we go. That huge ass fucking monster. So, the main thing I didn't like about wider decks was because when you get a wider deck, you're also going to get a longer board. A lot of people don't know that, but it kind of fucked with me personally, only because when I was riding an 8.75, did I say that? Yeah, was that it? Yeah, 8.75, I had to put my foot here for an ollie. Like, it was right in the middle. Usually, you want to put your foot there for an ollie when you're going to go, like, up a tall ledge or something. But naturally, it was just right there. And anytime I'll ollie, it'll just be a rocket ollie. So, I was forcing my foot to come up here. And then when I'll ollie, I'll level out, but it will be really, really small fucking ollie. I, wouldn't, I couldn't get high with them. And if you guys look at my fucking profile, my YouTube profile, you can see I'm doing an ollie. It's one of, like, it's an old shot. And I was actually writing an 8.0 board right there. And I was looking back at some old videos. Like, I have a video right here I'm going to show you. It's when I did a 50-50 and I did a fakey frontside big spin. I saw those and I was like, wait a minute, I remember that setup. That was when I was writing an 8.0. And now like I struggle to fake you frontside big spin. I struggle to even 50-50 on a little ass ledge like that. I struggle with my ollies now. Like they don't even level out. I had to get like a really weird position for me to even level out my ollies. All because I'm writing a wider, longer board. And I've been thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I could probably still do all that stuff. And you can, you can. You can still do all that shit. Only because, you know, it's all in your head. But honestly, for me, if I had something smaller, I will do a lot better. Like, I see all these other YouTubers, like Ashton Kelly, uh, some girl, what's her name? Uh, shit. I think Haley Isaac is her name. Her boyfriend, Dan. They all ride like an 8.5 and up. I know that I think Dan went up an 8.75. So did Ashton Kelly went 8.75. And they still skate pretty good. But only because, you know, they've been skating a lot longer than I have. And they're really good at it. So they could skate any size deck they want. And then they keep their skills with that deck, you know. Princess, get the fuck out of here. So when I see them doing this, like riding a wider board and whatnot, I'm like, oh, you know what? I could do that too. And then I can, but... I didn't really think about it that personally I should have just stick with the size that I'm 
comfortable with. Because to be real, honestly, the only reason why I really liked the wider boards was because it had a lot more space to land and it was comfortable when I was carving bowls and shit. But that's about it, honestly. But to do tricks, ah, it was just a struggle and I had to pull out more effort. And looking back in these videos, when I was writing an 8.0 board, I was like, you know what? That felt more natural. That felt more comfortable. I had more pop. I could do this. I could do that. And now with the wider, longer boards, I can't do any of that shit. And I wasted so much time trying to do it with wider boards. And I struggle every time I go skate. And again, you guys, it's not me telling you guys, oh, go back riding to a 775 or an 8.0. No, nah, this is just me. This is just my experience I had with longer and wider boards. I'm not going to tell you what to ride. I'm not going to tell you what to fucking buy and all that shit. Because skateboarding, when it comes to your, your fucking board setup, it's all about personal preference, man. Don't let anyone try to tell you, oh, get this size. Oh, get these fucking wheels. Oh, get this fucking trucks. Get these hard hardware and all that bullshit. Nah, dude. All personal preference. That's all skateboarding is when it comes to your setup. If anyone tries to ever tell you guys that, don't fucking listen to them. Get what you guys want to fucking ride, what you guys like, what, what's mostly comfortable for you. Don't let anyone try to tell you, oh, use this, grab this, buy this, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, yeah, I do have a board coming. Right now it's Tuesday, and they said it's going to be here on Friday, and it's a Deathwish board, 8.0. And I'm going to do my very first board setup. It's going to be a completely whole new setup. And I'm going to do a video on that as well. But anyways, this is probably the last time I'm ever going to ride a wider fucking board. Because I'm going back to 8.0. I'm going to go skate right now. This is going to be probably the last time, last day to go skate with this board. Honestly, I'm probably going to use this board to do transition. Because it means since it's wide and whatnot, I'll probably just use this board for, you know, cruising and shit. I'm not going to... Let it go to waste. Anyways, I think that's what I have to say about now. If I remember anything later on, I'll just put it in the description. If you guys have questions about the board, if you want to buy the board, I really don't care either. If you want to buy it, the whole complete, uh, give me a price and I'll let you fucking know. But it's probably going to be expensive because of these fucking trucks. These trucks are titanium. They're light as shit, bro. My board is light as fuck. Or if you want parts, let me know too. Also, that's only if you live in Vegas. All right, let's go skate. All right, it is fucking hot right now, bro. So to be honest with you guys, I ain't going to skate that much. I'm just going to get what I can and just call it a day. Here at Craig Ranch, my local skate park. Thanks. It is fucking scorching fucking hot. It's like draining my entire fucking energy right now. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm just, I just did like a 30 minute fucking workout, bro. Bro, I'm fucking home. My fucking phone went off because it was too damn hot. I couldn't, I couldn't continue recording because I screenshot what it said. And it was like that for like 30, fucking minutes 
So I was like, wow, I can't even fucking continue filming. So I said, fuck, I'm gonna skate a little bit more and I'm gonna head out because it's too fucking hot. So I'm really sorry about that, you guys. I really want to continue skating and film it. As for my last time riding wide boards, but who knows, you know, maybe once I start getting really good with the 8.0, I might want to move up and get that nice space again. But right now, I'm gonna start from the very beginning, from when I started skating, having a small size deck, and work my way up again. There was something else I wanted to say, but I can't fucking remember, and I'm fucking sorry, but I really wanna just finish this video and edit and just post it. Shout out Hitachi though, if you guys fuck with Naruto. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video right there. 